Hey guys, welcome to another how-to video with Matt Waters. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make this farm-style lantern out of scrap two by two lumber. But first, you're gonna need a few things. All right guys, so the first couple of things that you're gonna need to get started is you're gonna need to have yourself a miter saw that's capable of cutting angles. You need a tape measure, you need a pen or pencil, you need some wood clamps, you need to get yourself some two by two lumber, and you need to get yourself some half inch plywood. Then you need to get yourself your color choice of white paint or any paint for that matter. You can get yourself some screws or nails, your choice, a drill, an impact driver, and you will need a sander with some 180 grit. All right, so on our two by two lumber, we need to go ahead and cut the following pieces. You need to cut four at two inches. Then you need to cut eight out at six inches. And then you need to cut out four at 14 and three quarter. All right, and for our decorative top square on two by two, we need to make sure that we cut four out at six inches and you need to cut four out at three inches. And our last cut is the half inch plywood. You need to make sure that you can cut out a square that is nine and a quarter long by nine and an eighth wide. And that'll look just like this, guys. It's a perfect little square. So just pull one side to nine and one eighth. Make sure you got nine and one corner. Go ahead and use your speed square to mark that square and cut out that piece. And you'll also need to get yourself some decorative rope that you can pick up at any craft store. I picked this up at Dollar Tree for $1. Alright, so once you get all your boards cut out, just like what we have right here, you can go ahead and take your plywood piece for right now and just stick it to the side. And you want to go ahead and sand all of these pieces here. You want to sand your four little nubs, you want to sand all your side pieces, and your vertical pieces. So go ahead and sand those now. Real quick, we're just going to speed through and sand all our pieces down, get them nice and smooth. Alright guys, so once you've got everything sanded down, you need to take four of your six inch pieces right here, your piece of plywood, and four of your 14 and three quarter inch legs. And you want to just kind of puzzle it out onto your plywood right there to make sure everything's going to line up nice and smooth. And then we're going to need to go ahead and clamp this stuff together and shoot us some screws or nails in right here and here. But do not go ahead and nail it to the plywood yet. Need to wait on that for us to put legs on first and all that. So we need to put this part together first. Then we'll come up to the top right here and we'll put our other boards that's going to go from here to here. But first we need to do it just like this. So let me get over here so you guys can see. That's how we got it set up right there. You want to make sure that your legs are angled facing the exact same way. You don't want to have one like this, this, and this, and then have one turned differently like that. So make sure your legs are all the same and scatter four of your six inch pieces out and make sure everything's going to line up great. Then you can go ahead and shoot some nails. Alright guys, so I'm going to be using screws, but you can use nails. And if you're going to use nails, I suggest what you do is to make you a little mark down here up close to the top part of your board going this way and then make you one a mark on this side lower on the board going this way that way your nails don't crisscross when you try to hammer it in and also it's a good idea to use a drill bit to make a little pilot hole if you're going to use nails but i'm going to be using screws so what i'm going to use is a number 10 countersink tool from dewalt and what i'm going to do is countersink my holes right here and shoot some screws so we're going to go ahead and get this entire bottom frame assembled and then we'll be right back i'm going to go ahead and just put some countersink holes in right here So there's one, flip it over to our next mark, and go ahead and drill that one out. Alright, so there's all our countersink holes right there, so we're going to finish drilling these out, and then we'll be ready to assemble our bottom. Alright guys, so we got all our countersink holes drilled, so what I want to go ahead and do is take one of my screws at first, and I just want to go ahead and about partially put it through, I don't want to go all the way through. I just want to get that right there on the money. Then what I want to do is go ahead and get placed in the place I need to be, right here. Then I want to line up my boards. 
so that it's perpendicular with our base and then I want to take my clamp and clamp that together. Alright, so once I've got that clamp nice and tight the way I want it, I'm going to go ahead and sink this one screw. Alright, so we're going to clamp that. Make sure it's nice and flat. And we want to go around and we want to go ahead and shoot our screws in all the way around. You want to go ahead and join this piece. Then you want to lay your next piece down, get it in place, and then go ahead and screw that together. So we're going to go ahead and screw all of our corners together and we'll be right back. Now that we've got all of our pieces attached right here, what we need to do is just flip it over just like that. And then you want to take your other four pieces that you have and go ahead and line them up inside just like that. Go ahead and place them in there all the way around. Then you want to do the exact same thing that you just did. You want to make your marks. You want to drill your countersink holes out. And then you want to go ahead and attach all of these pieces right here. So go ahead and do that and then we'll be ready to rock. Alright guys, we are back. If you've been following along and paying attention, then you should have this right here framed out. You should have all four corners attached to your other pieces just like this right here. Alright, so now the only thing we got to do now is go ahead and get our base on there. So what we're going to do to get our base on there is you want to look around at your piece and you want to determine do you like this side facing up or do you want to flip it around? Do you like that side facing up better? You know, whichever one you like the best, right? So then the side that you want to face down, you want to take your plywood. What you're going to do is you're going to sit it on there in one corner and get it nice and flush. All right. And then you're going to come over here and then you're going to center it. You want to make sure you have just a little bit of overhang if there is going to be any on each side. All right, guys. So what we want to do now is shoot a screw here, a screw here in these four corners. So that top is now attached. So let's take a look at what we've got, guys. That is what we've got going so far. Alright, guys. So the final step right here to put this frame together is to put your little feet on that we cut at two inches, right? So what we're going to do is just line them up in the corners real nice. You want to go ahead and make yourself a mark. And you want to make sure that that mark, when you go to drill your countersink hole or your drill bit, it's not going to land and hit your nail right there. See, that mark right there would land and hit that nail. So I don't want it to go there, right? So you want to move your mark. Go ahead and X that one out. So I'm going to move my mark to about the center right here. Just a little slightly over to the center. That way you know you're going to clear your nails that you put in. So go around all four corners. And just make sure... So you're going to be able to clear your nail and it's not going to get into your way right there guys. So go ahead and make your marks on all four corners. Then drill your countersink holes out. And then go ahead and screw or nail these feet in place. And then the frame will be ready for paint. I'm going to go ahead and put a countersink hole in my feet. All right, so we went around and drilled all of our countersink holes and we went ahead and shot some nails in there guys some short nails just to go through the block and into the wood below right there that's all you're going to need for your feet so now those are on nice and sturdy now we can take this thing and look at it right here all right so this is from the bottom so let's go ahead and flip it over and get a good look at it from this side right here Alright, so that's what we got going on so far with the feet right here. So at this point, what I want you guys to do is decide, do you want to stain it? Do you want to paint it? In this case, I'm going to be painting the whole entire thing white, right? Like a farm style white. So you need to go ahead and make your decision now. If you want to stain it a certain color, do you want to leave it raw like this? Or do you just want to go ahead and paint it? So let's go ahead and get this whole entire frame painted up white. Alright guys, so for the top of our lantern, what we want to do is take two of our six inch pieces, 
and you want to get them and put them on the sides right here just like this on the inside and you want to make sure that's flushed with the top up here don't worry about if it overhangs a little bit down there some of these two by twos are a little wider than others so you just might have to adjust but go ahead and make sure that two six inch pieces are going to fit right here and then you'll stick in two of your three inch blocks and you just want to make sure it's going to fit because like i said sometimes these two by twos are a little different widths so your six by threes might not fit in perfect you might have to trim just a little bit but that's going to be all right we'll make this work so once you get your four blocks right here just like this right here what you want to do is make your mark you want to put one in the front right there in the front middle here on your long six inch pieces right you just want to line up those marks and then you want to drill you out some countersink holes right but before you screw those you're going to want to take them out take these blocks out just like this let me show you guys right here You want to take it and make it look just like your square would be in there right except for on the inside before you put these blocks in there you want to go ahead and join these together with screws right so the best thing to do is just line them up real nice go ahead and make you a center marked on there and you can drill you some countersink holes or just go ahead and screw you some screws right on in there and then you want to make sure that these sides get attached on both sides for your three inch piece then once you get that built then you can come back to your top right here and then you'll be able to go ahead and stick that square down in and get it lined up with your edges right and then that's when you'll screw in this part to lock these six inch boards in so go ahead and get that done and then we'll be ready for our next top All right, so once you've got that all screwed together nice and firm, you just want to stick it in the top and you may need to take a little hammer or something just to get it kind of beat in place and then you just want to tap it in. You want to get it all nice and flush with this top loop. Then you want to do the exact same thing. You want to build your other two pieces of six and two pieces of three together and make the same square and then what you're going to do after you build your square is you're going to put your square on top just like this real quick you know you want to get that the way that you're going to have it and imagine it being screwed together on the sides just like that then once you get that lined up what we need to do is make four marks on the corners of our sixes going down right so you want to put four countersink holes in each corner right here and then you want to shoot screws downward to attach this top underneath to your bottom right here guys and then once we do that we can paint it all i'm gonna slap some paint on here real quick get a first coat going on there guys then we'll let this dry for about 30 minutes then we'll come back and put a second coat on real quick All right, so we got the top painted right here white and everything is dry now. So what we need to do is take our rope that we have guys. And for this piece right here, 17 inches is the perfect length. So go ahead and cut yourself a piece of rope, 17 inches. Then what I want you to do is pull a measurement from one side, just like this. And I want you to go four and five eighths. Then I want you to flip it around, exact pull from the same side that you pulled the first measurement and do again four and five eighths. That's gonna be our center mark on the top that we're gonna line our rope up with. So what you wanna do is take your rope, you wanna line it up on your mark just like that. You wanna make sure that it's flush with the edge right here. And you want to go ahead and lift it around. And what we want to do is go ahead and shoot a screw into this rope, right? It gives it that cool look right there instead of just putting a staple or a nail or something. So I'm going to take a screw. I'm going to screw this in place right here. And it might try to spin. Might need to keep it straight and just hold it tight. Alright, so now that's in place, so we'll go to our other side right here. 
And then you want to do the same thing. You want to take the end of this rope. You want to make sure that you get it nice and lined up right here on the end. Go ahead and tuck it in down in that corner and we'll shoot another screw inside this side. Alright, so now that we got both sides of our rope screwed down on these ends right here, what we want to do is just measure out on the side part right here and put a little mark at three inches on both sides, guys. Then what we're going to do after you do that, is we're going to line that up and then we're going to shoot a screw right into here to give it some more strength. So once you've got both of those sides now supported nice right here, you can just come around and trim any rope if you need to. Like right here, I'm just going to cut it off right there. And that's going to be a good handle right there, guys. Alright, so let's go ahead and get a candle in this thing. Alright guys, so there you have it. There is our farm style lantern that we made out of scrap 2x2, two two, some screws, and some rope. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hope you guys have a wonderful week. Peace.